going to get the service here. Good morning. Can I please get a flat white? Oh, it is a wet. Monday morning. Good morning guys. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. I am at the Trafford Centre this morning. I'm going to do a bit of a come to Zara with me. I feel like it's been a while since I've been in. I want to check it out. I want to see what's new in and I thought you, I would bring you guys along with me. I'm also picking out a new car this week so I've got a few things planned and I thought I might do a vlog. Ah, you okay? Halfway. Yes please. Yeah. Thank you. There we go. Yep. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye. You too. Bye. So everyone is all hands on deck at the house this morning with the renovations. Tom is there. Barney, I thought I would treat him to a half day at doggy daycare because he absolutely loves it there. And then when we go pick up the car, probably Wednesday, I'm going to book him in for a full day. Honestly he's gonna really miss it you can't take them from six months old because they have to be new to door spade and i don't know when to get that done i mean he's only six months old he'll be so yeah i always think that seems quite young i guess i'll just have to speak to my vet and see what he says i'm not gonna obviously do him just so that he can go to doggy daycare but what's the norm i don't know i always assumed it's probably about a year old um, but we'll see we will see <clears throat> okay so i've just pulled up got myself my starbucks went for a flat white today and before i head on in i actually firstly want to talk to you a little bit about today's video sponsor look fantastic which is one of my absolutely favorite all-time favorite brands online for beauty in particular i just love the variety and the range of products that they have i've been a customer of theirs for so long now so it is such a pleasure when they reached out and wanted to sponsor this part of today's video so i do have a few new in items which i wanted to share with you so i'm gonna jump and switch over to that switch back home show you what i picked up and then bring you guys along with me into zara so today's video sponsor with it being look fantastic they are celebrating bank holiday weekend with big sales big discounts and you can shop via the link in my description box and also use my discount code freyabh for up to 35% off this bank holiday weekend i thought i would share with you some of my faves so if you wanted to check them out these are my top recommendations from Look Fantastic. So over the past year or so, where most of us have been spending our time inside, not really going out and venturing out too much, I decided to really hone in on getting a good skincare routine and kind of stripping things back and doing like less is more. So I would say within the last year, I could count on one hand the amount of times I've actually wore foundation. I have some alternatives, which I'm obsessed with, but starting with skincare, Bare Minerals is one of my faves and they have brought out this new range which is called the Ageless Range. These ones are great because they use phyto retinol so rather than a true retinol they're a plant-based alternative which is less harsh on your skin you've got the eye cream face cream a night cream and this in particular i love it is actually a neck cream so it's just very similar to the face cream but a lot more intense and nourishing so when you put it on your neck at night i do find i get wrinkles here so i like to use this now and i'm so glad i've incorporated this within my beauty routine so i would say every three days something like that i will pop some of these tan lux drops within my moisturizer just to give that kind of natural kind of glow i mean we've not really had the best of weather considering the time of year and then in terms of the base my makeup when i have done my skincare routine i like to go in with these products so firstly the laura mercier pure canvas primer this one is actually pretty much empty i need to stock up and get another one of these but it's an illuminating primer it goes on beautifully sometimes i just wear this without anything on top and then i'll go in with a bit more coverage with this laura mercier tinted moisturizer this one is in 2w1 natural and it does also have spf 30 in it if you just want a slight bit more coverage than a tinted moisturizer than bare minerals back to bare minerals the complexion rescue tinted hydrating gel cream is probably my favorite of all of them this again has spf 30 in it and i picked up a new shade recently 
from Look Fantastic in Birch 1.5. And then if I'm feeling a little shiny, I go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'll leave all of these items linked below. And then this is my fave for a budget setting spray from NYX, and it's the Dewy Finish Setting Spray. This is only £8, and then obviously with the discount, you get more money off. The Bobbi Brown Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick in Truffle is the perfect shade for your brow bones in your inner corner and I actually haven't done it yet so I thought I would put it on because this one is all out so I have ordered a brand new one so this is what it looks like again the shade is truffle and I just pop a little bit on my brow bone and rub it in with my fingers simple as that and you can go in with a little added extra uh, highlight just to kind of go on top of that and kind of set it perfect shade the fact that it's a cream I absolutely love and yeah had to share that one with you then one final product I wanted to share is actually a hair care product it's from the brand away which is a really nice for, for one the branding I love the branding of this brand they have also I spotted them look fantastic they do a fur baby shampoo oh my gosh definitely getting that for Barney once this previous one has run out but this is the matte pomade now I actually off camera wear my hair up a lot most days to be honest with you and if I'm going out and about then I'll do like a sleek kind of high pony and if you've got any flyaways this is perfect for just kind of smoothing them down so they are some of my faves I'll leave them all linked below along with the discount code so make sure to take advantage and I hope you enjoy a lovely bank holiday weekend and now back into the vlog now 
So I bought in to try two of these in the medium to large from the Limitless Contour range, which I already have and own the leggings and a couple of other bits, which I love. So I bought these two cycling shorts in to try on in black and white. They're $11.99 each. And then I really liked this and I thought for a full outfit for $27.99, it's like a linen-y jumpsuit in this really pretty uh, green kind of sage green color. And I love these straps up here. So yeah, I'm gonna try it on. It's got pocket details on the side and also on the back. And then just whilst I'm in the change room, I thought I'd just show you what I'm wearing today. So I've got my Chanel bag, my, I call it a blazer, but it's like a blazer coat jacket from Misguided. Basic gray tee from my Sainsbury's haul that I did from the menswear, um, Lululemon leggings and my Veya trainers. Okay, so these are the cycle shorts in the white. I've just put them on with what I'm wearing and I'll just pick these up, pick them up in the black as well. This is gonna be like a good go-to outfit for me for like, as the weather gets a bit warmer instead of leggings and an oversized sweatshirt. This is like my alternative, just very casual. Right, I'm gonna try this one on now. So I'm not 100% set on this because I feel like it needs, I don't know if it's very flattering um, I feel like if it had something to cinch in there, it would look quite dressy, quite nice. But that's not what I intended. I just wanted like a loose floaty. And this is in a medium, so I feel like I'd need a large. And I feel like they'd be too, it'd be too like sort of oversized and make, you know, just not very flattering. So I think I'm actually gonna leave this, which is a shame. later done some damage been to the shops got a few bits i did actually get a couple more bits in zara um on route out before buying the cycle shorts i did actually go up to the menswear and found a couple of bits as well just for myself because i was looking for some good sort of basic oversized tees and there weren't any in the women's they were quite everything's very fitted so like little vest tops loads of great basics so i'll show you the bits that i got from zara when i get home but i also on route i'm gonna nip to there's a dunelm home since tk maxx and everything here so i'm gonna just quickly nip around those shops and then just if i do end up picking anything up i'll show you like a bit of a haul at the end of this video with the zara bits and i'll see you guys in a bit along with the shopping which is in the bedroom which I'll show you in a sec but I um have it's and it's I'm all over the show just taken Barney to his last and final day at doggy daycare whilst he's still a um a man before he gets the sickness um, I have just unloaded the car because we're going to pick up my new car today, which is so exciting. I'm actually driving down with Tom to Sitna Garage in Nottingham, which my brother actually works at. I'm picking up the car from him at about midday. So going to get that, we're joining the BMW crew rather than Mercedes. As much as I absolutely love driving my Mercedes, um, it's time to sell. So yeah, picking up a new car. New car day is always very exciting. I've just unloaded all the rubbish that was in the boot of my car. I need to sort through all this and I mean, probably been a load of it, but um, there's just a few essentials that I might actually reorganize into some nicer bags to put in the boot of my, well, I say in the boot of my new car, but Barney's actually gonna be sitting in the boot of my new car. Whereas with the Mercedes, he was in the back seat. Oh, lots to do this morning. Tom's actually in a meeting this morning, so I'm gonna go pick him up in a moment. I think I'm gonna make myself a coffee, sort out all these bags, show you the bits that I got from town or from the traffic centre, and then get on the road and pick up my new car. Oh, in fact, I will show you. I, I know, hopefully, we're not gonna be wearing masks for much longer, but I still feel like it'll be handy to have some in anyway. Um, so I picked up this set 
of, I think there are 100 masks here, and they're in a nice neutral beige colour. So I'll leave them linked below in case you were interested in picking them up. Um, but this seller had lilac, baby blue, dark blue, um, lemon colours, green, and then this kind of neutral beige colour. It did look a lot darker on the image online, but I'm okay with this. It's kind of like a lemony neutral colour. Anyway, sidetrack because they were just here. What's the next to the coffee machine? Oh, that's a towel. Freshly washed for Barney to go in the boot of my new car as well. This one is a pet specific one from uh, Amazon. Look, it's got a little paw print on it. Cute. before we set off because I'm actually dropping off my Mercedes to be sold whilst we go. Oh, you're a bit low now. One sec. Is that a bit better? Yeah. So, I thought I would just sit down and enjoy this coffee and share with you what I picked up. Mm. Okay, so Zara. Let's start with that. Considering that's where I went first, I was fully expecting to get one of those bright pink, pinky red bags that they're now doing. But now I've got a standard Zara bag and actually just a small one because I only picked up a couple of bits. So, let's delve in, shall we? So you saw in the changing rooms the two cycling shorts that I picked up, white and black, 11.99. Okay, so I went up to the menswear and I picked up this t-shirt. Really good quality. 19.99 this was for a t-shirt, but the quality of it is really, really good. It's really thick, soft, and it is obviously, um, men's so it is a boxier fit and i did actually get a large as well i think yeah large 19.99 a really pretty stone color that i absolutely love and i think it would look nice with either of the cycle shorts but especially with the white ones underneath also spotted this in the menswear these were reduced i actually picked up an extra large because i definitely wanted this as an oversized fit and it was in the sale from 19.99 which for a really good quality shirt is already cheap but down to 14 99 so it's like a really nice cotton almost cotton denim blend shirt which like I said I'm intending on wearing oversized unbuttoned as a jacket so a jacket over a pretty white summer's dress something like that or even if I were to wear um, this kind of an outfit but then have just an extra layer on top I thought this would be really good and at only 14 99 I did think this was well worth the money really really soft good quality as well so that is everything that i got from zara the jumpsuit that i tried on the green one i did really like it but it just it i don't think it was very flattering on me i i like the idea of it and i like the look of it but i think they suit someone who's a bit more straight up and down rather than like bottom heavy like i am okay so tk maxx i've been to dunelm matalan and is that everything oh no wilco's I'll just show you this one. I picked up this, which I've heard lots of people talking about. It's the Lenore Ultra Concentrated. So it's only a small tub. Great for space saving in your cupboards. Um, and it's called Outdoorables as if dried outside. So it's meant to smell as if your clothes have dried outside. Nice and fresh. Oh, gosh. Got a bit on. That is really nice. That is so good. It's, it is literally like your clothes smell like they've been outside. Well, that's the smell that I'm hoping that it'll give off all my clothes that I, when I wash them. So 60 washes that lasts for, because it's ultra concentrated, you only need a little bit. Okay, let me show you these baskets so I can move them out of the way. The first one that I got is plain and simple, kind of 
woven seagrass style. I loved the handle. I love the fact that it came all the way down to the bottom. Now this was actually something I picked up from Just Yus, J-Y-S-K. There's only a few branches in the UK and I think they're predominantly in the north. They sell some really affordable homeware bits. It's a bit like an Ikea. That's what it reminds me of. So anyway, this basket was $19.99 and then I also picked up this which was in the sale at just five pounds and it's kind of like it says handmade there so they were all unique in their shape it's kind of just like an ornament a ceramic stone kind of fairly weighty ornament that would just sit styled up on some shelves or something like that and then i popped into matalan and i was actually after something quite specific i'll see if i can insert a picture there's a dog wicker basket for toys so it's in the shape of a bone which i loved but they didn't have any in store so i saw this one and i think this was the same price anyway at 18 pounds and obviously this is just a far more generic almost like laundry style basket because it's got the inner lining so i thought instead i could always use this as his toy basket or a toy basket because he's got a lot of toys so he needs several toy baskets you know in future i can always use it as a laundry hamper i can always use it for storage I just thought it was more handy than having the bone shaped one <sighs> although i do really like that one and then i also picked up these which i saw and really liked the color of these it's kind of like a walnut wood like a darker wood with the lighter streaks running through it in these salad servers so i have two wooden salad servers at only four pounds and then i also spotted this in the sale and it's like a little teapot in this matte black finish it was 10 pounds full price but i saw it in the sale for four pounds they did have the mugs and everything to go with it but i actually just liked the idea of this on its own I mean, I have plenty of mugs, but I just thought this was really, really nice. So for four pounds, I also went to Dunelm and found this, which actually a few of you have sent me a picture of before saying, oh, you should get this for your aesthetic. And it is. It's a dog bowl. Barney's starting to need bigger dog bowls now for both water and food. So I picked this one up at five pounds. It says bone appetite. And then I also found this. Now this does actually say exclusively for Dunnell, but I have seen these sold online. They're the linen union glass cloths. So they're a linen tea towel essentially, but they're really good for polishing glassware because you don't get lots of lint bits on them or anything. To be honest with you, the look of this I really liked. Now this usually tends to be like, they, they come in a gray or like a bluey color, bluey gray. So when I spotted this black one, I grabbed it. There was only one of Available. It was six pounds, I believe. Okay, moving on to TK Maxx and HomeSense that I popped into, and I actually have the bargain of the century here. My mum also like is the biggest bargain hunter. It's probably where I get it from. So she actually found these for me and gave me them because they are not her size and they are my size. So they're originally from Zara, and they're originally as you can see there, 179. Now they do say a 41, which I think is a seven, but it's labeled at UK eight. So that's why my mum picked them up because she is that size. I'm more of a six and a half and these fit me not too small, but snug, like these fit perfect. So they must have got the sizing wrong and that's maybe why they're in TK Maxx. But look at the bargain price point that they were reduced down to. 10 pounds 180 pounds down to 10 pounds beautiful neutral color gorgeous kind of suede finish a pointy toe a nice chunky block heel so they're much more comfortable to walk in now she actually found a bigger bargain than these she found a pair of massimo dutty boots in black heeled but with a stiletto heel pointy toe and they were 300 and something retail price she paid five pounds for them. So yeah, she got the real bargain there. I also just got a couple of bits of gift wrap. This gift bag, or in fact, I got three gift bags. I loved all of these patterns. This one is like a kind of jungle themed one at 1.99. And then I got this one, which is a fairly neutral. This would be good for like a little baby shower or something. It's a bit nautical with the gray and white stripes the rope handles and it's good because it comes with tissue paper with it so that one was 2 49 because it did come with the tissue paper same with this one and it's got like a little chevron design bit of a champagne gold running throughout and gold 
Uh, well, it's actually more like a brown tissue paper with that one. And then I got a load of uh, ceramic ware for the kitchen. As you guys have seen from my previous Home Sense hauls, I've been on the hunt for these kind of bobble edged crockery. Still haven't found any plates. I found big server plates, but not like just single portion plates. But I did find these pasta bowls and also these, I wanna say cereal bowls. So I only picked up two of these, but I actually picked up a full set of eight. I feel like shopping for the future, once we've got the new kitchen built and everything, I am shopping for eight. I feel like uh, to have a set of eight and everything is a good amount, a good number. So these ones, the pasta bowls were 3 dollars each and the smaller ones were 2 dollars And then I also, last but not least, picked up this hand soap, which I loved the aesthetic of. And I just thought it would look so nice out on display. And it's quite a generous size as well. So this one is in lavender and chamomile. And what's more... It smells divine. It smells like a spa. It smells so, so good. But yeah, how nice is that bottle? Love that. I've just had a text from Doggy Daycare. It's so cute. They always send loads of pictures whilst they're in. And I mean, look, he's found a friend, a little husky. How cute is that? I love the fact that they send loads of pictures and videos. <laughs> Bye. get a bit of work done and then I'm going to pick Tom up from his meeting in about half an hour to get on the road. I've got an hour and a half's drive to go pick up my new car. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to just have a clean car. I mean my car, my old one, my Mercedes desperately needs a wash valet. So I'm excited to be able to have a fresh, there's nothing better than a fresh Avalita car, am I right? Just excuse all this mess and everything, but this is what the men's shirt looks like. Just again, loose. I'm actually gonna wear it today, I think, just as an extra layer, because I don't know if you can tell out there, but it is currently raining, which is just fantastic. So yeah, I'm just gonna wear this today. I need to remember to take the label out. And yeah, what do you guys think? I just love the colour of it. That stone kind of colour against white. I really, really like that combination. spot that we can put you easily on this dashboard well, anyway i'm in the new car Woo! i love the drive let's just focus gotta go pick up barney i've got a couple of treats hopefully he's gonna like the boot and not be afraid of it but we will soon find out it's not the most ideal place to put you considering all you can see is this steering wheel um but i love the drive if anyone's in the market for a new bmw in local to nottingham nottingham sit in a garage George is my brother, if you wanted to ask for him. And then if anyone's in the market for a new Mercedes, then let me know if you want to buy mine. Wait. Wait. Can you jump in? Woo, well done. Here you go. There's a treat. 
day. Are you okay back there? I think he's just sussing his surroundings. Barney. Good boy. Nah, no, uh, uh, stay down there. Good boy. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> We're in our pajamas. Woo! Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're back home. Barney will have his little mad play sesh, although he's already pretty sleepy. He usually has a bit of a play after after a full day of doggy daycare, or even just a half day. And then he has his snoozies, don't you? Anyway, I just wanted to come on and round off today's video. I've got to decide what I'm going to have for my dinner, if I'm going to order something or if I'm going to salvage something from in the cupboards. I'm not sure yet. You are right. You just did the biggest burp. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on and round off this vlog. Let me know if you're interested in me doing more vlogs like this. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Obviously, lots of renovation vlogs coming up. I just want to say a big thank you again to Look Fantastic for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Just a reminder again, the link... Oh, is that a new toy? The link and discount code will be left in the description box below. Definitely take advantage. Use it whilst it's there. And uh, we hope to see you all very soon in the next video. Say bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh.